okay now we know what billing is so let's try to actually do the billing hands-on which is creating the billing document in the system so let's go to SAP go back and close the sales section and instead go to the billing section and click on billing document create okay so let me take a screenshot here that will tell you where to go so step number one is this use this menu path or use the transaction VF01 right the transaction codes are really simple 01 02 03 1 for create 2 for change 3 for change 3 for display always or at least most of the time step 2 go there and type in we have 01 over here or use the menu path the last created delivery number comes up here make sure it's there okay so again I'm going to take another screenshot here So make sure the last created delivery number is there, okay? And then click on the green check mark. Now the system will create a new document called the invoice document or the billing document. The document type for that is F2 we can as well create our own document types but for now let's just go to the system with the standard proposed invoice and it says we have shipped a quantity of one of whatever material and here's the net value here's the tax whatever and then click save but before i do that let me take another screenshot and So this is the invoice number and check everything, click on the save button and it will generate an invoice number. Typically it starts with 90000 something but it can have any number range. So 90380807. That's our invoice number or billing document number that's it so what have we done here so let's do a quick recap of what we have done okay so what have we done here we have started with pre-sales Walmart is our customer HP is the company and the first request that came out is called as an RFI or a request for inquiry and in response to that HP has created a document called inquiry I in and send a response so let me put the response in blue Sent a response saying here is your inquiry number and each response will have a number a unique number okay switch back next step um, Walmart liked our inquiry and it's requesting for a formal quotation how do they do that using RFQ which is a request for quotation and in response to that HP is going to create a quotation we have used the document type QT and again the response is going to be sent back to Walmart saying here is your quotation number blah 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 now we understand the reason why we do an inquiry versus a quotation so up until this point 
we are calling it pre-sales and we understand the reason why we are calling it pre-sales the next thing is the customer like, likes our quotation and sends an order down this is called an order or a purchase order and HP creates a sales order or quite simply an order and we use the document type OR we create the order in the system and send out an order acknowledgement which is just saying that we have received your order here is your order number we'll ship it by this date and after that now that we have taken the order we need to do the delivery which is the step of picking packing and PGI picking packing and PGI post goods issue after the delivery is done we did the billing which contains the actual amounts quantities tax different prices etc and we're gonna send this billing over to the customer and say hey you know what here is your invoice and you need to pay so much for this quantity whatever whatever this is called the order to cash cycle now in the next chapter I'm going to talk about some variations to this order to cash cycle.